For the first time in more than two weeks, alternate side parking rules are back after several days of storms, really the whole two weeks. Drivers across the city had to move their snow-covered cars or get a ticket. CBS 2's Elise Finch has the story. That's the sound of drivers across New York City chipping away at the mounds of snow and ice that cover their cars. I cleared the top of it, as you see, but I can't get through the ice. I didn't think they were going to have alternate side today, but then uh, I found out, so I ran down here. A spokesperson for the Department of Transportation says the city's alternate side parking rules were suspended for 15 days to facilitate snow removal. They resumed Tuesday morning, much to the delight of these small businessmen who say their snow removal business is booming. Today has been nonstop called. Now they kind of see the urgency of doing it. It's a ticket or a quick $60 to guys that will go out and do the work. Dozens of cars on West End Avenue and along Riverside Drive were ticketed for violating the alternate side parking rules. Each ticket costs $65. For some cars like this one that are completely covered with snow and ice, it seems the driver made no attempt to dig it out. It's a snowstorm, but it comes up to the bottom of the door. But by the time the plow comes, it's covering up towards the... Uh the uh, windows. Some people say since the city's snow plows worsen the problem for some motorists, they should offer more help. I just don't understand why they they haven't, uh, you know, brought the trucks here and, and really help with this. But look, look at the ice. Look at the ice and what we have to deal with. A spokesperson for the Department of Sanitation says their employees are still working 12-hour shifts to finish removing snow and ice from streets along alternate side parking routes, something that can't happen if people refuse to move their cars. In Manhattan, Elite Finch, CBS 2 News. And alternate side rules will be in effect again tomorrow, but suspended on Thursday for Abraham Lincoln's birthday.